Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies' recent earnings results. We're also going to talk about the latest stock price targets for this company and what this means for the future of this company and their share price. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first article we're going to analyze today is titled, Palantir Stock Pops, Then Drops as Investors Digest Quarter 1 2024 report. If only someone were to have told you that Palantir's share price would pop in the short term and then radically pull back. Oh wait, that's exactly what I did in our last video. Palantir stock will pop after their quarter one results. And in that video, I actually described my strategy, how I plan to trade this company instantaneously after their earnings results. But don't let that fool you because I've been wrong before, which is why I always suggest that you do your own research. But let's talk more about Palantir Technologies. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies, and they recently delivered pretty strong quarter one results. The hype that's been surrounding Palantir is reflected in the company's overall share price, causing the company to jump temporarily in their stock price. And this also inflated the company's valuation to where they trade at approximately 76 times their forward P.E. ratio. However, the problem here is that this hype is now unjustified because the business is only growing at approximately 21% on a year-over-year -year basis. However, there is good news here because Palantir's management did increase their guidance in regards to the revenues for the year of 2024, but despite that, the author of this article expects the company to remain depressed in their overall share price after the recent sell-off. So before we start to analyze the numbers and the hard data, let's quickly go over what they brought in in regards to their recent report. For quarter one of 2024, Palantir was projected to deliver revenues and earnings per share of 617.6 million for revenues and 8 cents per share on the positive side for their earnings per share. In our last video, we predicted that Palantir would beat on their top of the line expectations in regards to the revenue, which is exactly what happened. And for their earnings per share, they ended up meeting estimates, which really isn't too bad, but it seems that investors are seemingly disappointed by the lack of their artificial intelligence powered hyper growth which was promised to investors. So now let's move on to really break down these numbers. Initially, Palantir Technologies received a lot of hype around the company's overall share price, which is why the company jumped by around 8% in their share price after the quarter one results were released. But despite the company surging in a pre-anticipatory run, after the results were released, the company did start to downtrend in the respected share price. To right now, the company is trading at a depressed level of around $22 per share. However, when I personally look at these numbers, I think the company actually did it pretty well, and I think investors are somewhat overreacting, even though I do think that this pullback in the respected share price is rather healthy, and if the company drops below $20, I will be buying into this company more often. Right now, I really want to focus on this company's future annual projections for their revenue, and the company said that they now forecast that they will bring in around $2.68 billion to $2.69 billion dollars worth of revenue for the year of 2024. Honestly, this is good news because analysts expect the company to bring in around $2.68 billion on average, according to Bloomberg, and I actually think they are going to beat this overall forecast. But the company didn't just raise their outlook for their revenues because they also increased their estimates in regards to their adjusted operating income, and that range was increased to between $868 million to $880 million, to where analysts on average estimate that the company will bring in around $846.6 million. Obviously, this is good news because analysts' estimates are actually lower than the range which management recently projected, so this is very good news for shareholders right now. The CEO of the company named Alex Karp even commented on the quote, unbridled and growing demand from US companies for its artificial intelligence software, which now drives the business. And as an investor, that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see growing demand, and then I want to see Palantir infiltrate that demand by selling products and services. Is. However, there is a big problem here because the company is having a problem selling their software overseas. As an example, their international commercial business declined by 3% sequentially during the quarter as a result of continued headwinds over in Europe. 
According to the CEO himself and this article, it says, and I quote, We have headwinds in Europe, which contributes 16% of the company's business. He goes on to say, Europe is gliding towards a 0% GDP growth over the next couple of years. That is a problem for us. There is no easy remedy for that, end quote. Basically, the company's CEO is saying that this is not a problem within the company, but rather a problem within Europe. Europe is having a hard time growing their economy right now, which is negatively impacting businesses and business endeavors over in that particular part of the world. But even with this bad news, there's also a lot of good news to be excited about. As an example, we saw a huge jump in U.S. commercial customers by 69% up to 262 clients during the first quarter. We also see that, quote, revenue growth from government contracts is now increasing at a slower pace than commercial revenue, and analysts expect commercial sales to eclipse those from governments next year. And if you've been following along with this channel, I literally predicted this years ago, and I even predicted this exact thing in our last video. I said that the key to Palantir's future growth is going to be their commercial sales, and eventually their commercial segment of their business will outpace the amount of revenues which are being brought in from their government clients, and that's exactly what we are seeing right here. This means that over the next year, according to current projections, this prediction will end up becoming true, and that's exactly what we would want to see as investors, because it looks like our investment thesis is unraveling right now, right before our eyes in the best way possible. But Palantir has another problem, according to a recent research note that was written by a Bloomberg intelligence analyst to where they say, and I quote, Palantir's commercial segment saw another strong quarter with 40% growth in the United States, but gains are likely to taper off. They go on to say, this suggests a lack of pipeline visibility, even with commercials solid customer additions, end quote. In a nutshell, they believe that Palantir's overall revenues will continuously trend downwards over the next few years, but I would tend to disagree with them. And I have evidence for this in regards to their future projections, because the company posted sales of $634.3 million for the first three months that ended on March 31st of 2024, which equates to a 21% increase on a year-over-year -year basis. Not only is this great news because it actually beat analysts estimates because analysts thought the company was only going to bring in around at 615.8 million dollars but they actually brought in 634.3 million dollars the news gets even better but for the current quarter palantir now said that they expect revenues to be between the range of 649 million dollars and 653 million dollars which is substantially higher than what they brought in last quarter and this should also equate to a higher year over year percentage increase than 20 percent you should also know that palantir beat on their net income projections, considering that the average estimate from analysts was that Palantir would bring in $83 million worth of net income, but they actually brought in $106 million, which is just more good news for this company and their overall share price. This number was also enhanced greatly, because for the current quarter, net income is anticipated to jump from $106 million all the way up to between $209 and $213 million, which is a huge increase that investors should look forward to. So based on these financial metrics that I'm using as evidence, I disagree with that analyst that we talked about. I don't think that their gains in regards to their revenues are going to taper off in the way that that analyst believes they will. That's why I think Palantir actually crushed earnings estimates, and I agree with this Barron's article. But you should also get some more insight from the CEO of this company himself, which is none other than Alex Karp. Recently, Barron's interviewed the CEO of Palantir Technologies to where he had to say the following, and I quote, America is adopting technology, and especially AI in a way no other part of the world is. He goes on to say, We are the only company providing the right infrastructure to make large language models actually valuable. He even went on to add, We have a vibrancy of our tech and corporate scene that no one else has. And as important as it is for Palantir, it's going to change the GDP trajectory of America in the long run. He even says that the strongest players in artificial intelligence will be in the United States and the Middle East, with Europe closing its eyes and hoping the nightmare will end. Obviously, the CEO is not happy regarding how Palantir has not fully infiltrated the European market, but he is excited about the artificial intelligence opportunity over here in the United States. 
You should also be aware that Palantir has been a large supporter of Israel during this Hamas and Israel conflict. And if you didn't know, Palantir is a huge supporter of both the United States and US allies. The CEO even used his quarterly shareholder letter to underline the fact that Palantir will use their software to play a key role in military applications and operations in both Israel and the United States. In his shareholder letter, he writes the following, and I quote, The platforms in use by our defense and intelligence partners present a very real threat to the survival of our enemies. He goes on to say, but those same software systems may, in the end, also make possible and indeed hasten the beginning of the end of an era of total and indiscriminate war." End quote. So obviously Palantir is not hiding their political affiliations, and I thought that you should be aware of that, regardless about who you're siding with right now. Now I want to talk about the future potential of this company, their growth prospects, their future share prices, and what I am doing right now with this stock in my portfolio. As it stands right now, Palantir makes up around 1% of my portfolio portfolio, considering that I recently traded this stock and I'm waiting to buy back in. Obviously, I've already made lots of profits from this company over the last few years since I've been reporting on this company for a very long time now. However, I would always encourage you to do your own research and take what I say with a grain of salt. Right now, the company's PLTR stock sits at around $22 per share and I am waiting for this company to drop in their share price before I decide to buy more. Currently, it seems that this company is divorced from their overall market capitalization because the company's accounting ratios are just too too high for my taste. And that's why I would actually appreciate the company coming down in their overall share price so I can buy more into this company. But that would just be a short-term view. Over the long-term view, I am very bullish on Palantir Technologies, and I do believe they are going to be a phenomenal company to hold in your portfolio, but always make sure to do your own research. With that being said, go ahead and comment down below your personal price targets for Palantir Technologies, how much you own of Palantir, and what you think of these recent earnings results. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Don't forget to comment down below and I'll see you in the next YT video.